It's projected that by the year 2030, deaths resulting from antibiotic resistance infections will be more than deaths related to cancer, diabetes and diarrheal infections combined. A situation that is being exacerbated by the misuse and overuse of antibiotics, as well as poor infection prevention and control. And as Raquel Mugai reports, scientists at the Kenya Medical Research Institute here in Nairobi are working to solve that problem through antimicrobial surveillance. COVID-19 grabbed the attention of the world, but beneath what has now been described as the new normal, is a worldwide health crisis silently growing every year, antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. Oh. Misuse of antibiotics has been cited as a common cause of AMR. We've all experienced being treated by a doctor and not getting better. And that's probably because the bacterial infection that we have is not responding to the antibiotic that we are using. It is for this reason that scientists like Dr. Lilian Musilla at the Kenya Medical Research Institute spend more hours trying to find answers on how well to resolve the ticking time bomb. Our work is to go to the hospitals and look for patients with infections and we collect the samples, for instance, from urine, from stool, from, from skin infections, either from wounds, injuries, from surgeries. We bring it to the lab and we grow it and then we test them using different antibiotics to find out which one is effective against treating it. So when we send this report back to the hospital, the, the doctor can know my patient has this infection by this bacteria and this antibiotic is effective to treat it. Auto From the mechanized method that Kemri researchers utilize, it takes about one day to develop an AMR susceptibility pattern. The pure culture from a sample will be grown overnight and thereafter passed through the antibiotics whose results come between 6 to 12 hours. Reactor to each this here is an example of how the results look like. This bacteria is only resistant to two antibiotics, but there is a pool of antibiotics to choose from, which means that this patient will likely get better faster. However, and this is what we don't like to see, because this patient, it's very difficult to find the therapy that works for them, for them to recover. Um, even worse, we, we sometimes get a bacteria like this, where you can see that only one drug works. And this is one of our highest level drugs that are usually held in reserve for those very resistant ones. And this drug has some toxicity, so it can also be bad for the patient. So the prognosis for this patient is, is not so good. That is awful. While not every sample of every patient is sent to Kemri or any other high-level medical facility with such technology, a majority of public hospitals in the country utilize a cheaper manual method. Okay, getting a positive culture, it will take uh, maybe three to five days. And then from there, uh, the antibiotic susceptibility testing procedure will take 18 or 24 hours. So eventually, let's just say it takes almost a day to get the results. A time-consuming mechanism that sometimes pushes medical workers to subscribe empirical treatment to their patients as they await the antimicrobial resistant susceptibility results. A system that also faces a challenge of contamination as it is a more hands-on test. A doctor prescribes empirical treatment based on the, the primary assessment that they have given. So it's, on one side it's, it's advantageous, but on the other side it may contribute to antimicrobial resistance in an event that another antibiotic has to be prescribed different from what had been prescribed. Antimicrobial resistance has devastating consequences for the ill. It means getting sicker for longer, increased cost of treatment which could impoverish desperate families or worst case scenario, succumbing to ordinary chest and urinary infections that were easily treatable earlier. Unfortunately, in some hospitals, they, they like to jump to the higher level drugs. Um, and what we've seen in the past uh, few years is that when you look at some of our higher level uh, drugs, we're seeing a very sharp increase in the resistance to them, which tells us that doctors are using them a lot. So from a doctor's perspective, you want the, to guarantee that your patient will get well. And if they can afford very expensive drugs, then they'll give it to you. But then you see we are losing our low-level drugs. Resistance to our mid-level drugs are increasing. And we're getting resistance to our last-line drugs. You can see why we'll be in crisis in a few years. According to the Center for Disease Control, it can take 15 years and a billion dollars to develop a new antibiotic. And then either the poor can't afford them or consumption must be restricted to starve off future resistance.
All right, thank you. And while the fight is still far from over, owing to misuse and overuse of antimicrobials, lack of access to clean water, sanitation and hygiene for both humans and animals, poor infection and disease prevention and control in healthcare facilities and farms, poor access to quality affordable medicines, vaccines and diagnostics, lack of awareness and knowledge and lack of enforcement of legislation, Kemri is now fixing its eyes on prevention of infections, especially in informal settlements. What is it? So we are getting also water from these patients' homes and trying to test it and see could this be the source of the infections. How about the uncooked foods that are sold around there? So they'll tell us this is where we buy their foods, our foods. We can go and sample these ones bring them to the lab, do the cultures, so that you can be able to tell at the end of the day we have a complete picture. Investigations that will enable them advise policy makers on what decisions to make regarding curbing the spread of infection. It is important to know the characteristics of your infection yeah. and not compare it to the one of your neighbor or your friend because they could be very different. Efforts to promote best practices among the general public are taking center stage as the world commemorates Antimicrobial Resistance Week. Efforts that are geared at preventing further emergence and spread of drug-resistant infections that could present a crisis in the near future if not addressed. Raquel Muigai, Citizen TV, at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Nairobi.